Welcome everyone, my name is Rich Saman. I'm the Executive Chef and General Manager of Shelton Public Schools in Connecticut. And today I'm gonna to feature our October harvest, which is apples. What I'm preparing today is a baked apple French toast. So first thing we're gonna do is we have scrambled eggs that we'll put in the bowl. We have cinnamon, nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. We have 1% milk. And we're just gonna whisk that together. Apples are loaded with vitamins, fiber. Okay, so we have that. Then we're gonna take our sliced apples, incorporate that. Whole wheat bread cubes. And then we're just gonna give these a little toss. Make sure it's well incorporated. And then when this is all set, we're gonna transfer this to a well-sprayed baking pan. It could be a two-inch sided sheet pan. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take parchment paper, spray the parchment paper with pan spray, lay that over the top cover it with foil, and then set it in the refrigerator overnight. The next morning, we're gonna remove it, let it temper for 30 minutes, and then it's gonna go in the oven at 325 degrees for 30 minutes. Before we get that all set, we're gonna hit it with some syrup, and then cover it, and it's ready to go. Okay, and at the 30 minute mark, you're gonna remove the pan from the oven, remove the pan liner and the foil, spin the pan, and then drizzle with some more of the maple syrup and continue cooking for at least another 15 to 20 minutes. Slice it any way you want it, in squares, triangles. Garnish it with a little bit of whipped topping, fresh sprig of mint, and of course you have to finish it with a little more maple syrup. And there you have oven-baked apple French toast.